allow me. I'm jelly happy indeed. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boys Brad and Damiani. We're back again to talk about a game. I'm kind of I'm, I'm excited for this. No, no surprise though, I guess. Yeah, I feel like uh, needed to have like. Maybe having Huber there me with and you Huber, would have been like yeah. a perfect matchup. Yeah, absolutely. But you had to settle for me. Yeah. It's okay. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. You've played them. You've played yeah. some of them. You've gone through them. <laughs> this is probably the least interested type of Dragon sure, Quest game, though. Sure, but yeah. To be fair, let's hear. Yeah. Let's hear about so the, the, I this game. And Dominion played a little bit of Dragon Quest Treasures. Yes. This is a prequel to Dragon Quest XI. You play as Eric, who is a party member in Dragon Quest XI, and Eric's sister Mia is in the game also. They are much younger, they are children in this game. <laughs> The whole game is about like being tr going on a treasure hunt. Super jolly. Yeah, I'm into it. Uh, so the game, this is not a normal Dragon Quest in terms of gameplay. First of all, normal Dragon Quest games, you know, the number of entries are known for turn-based combat. Not this one. This one is action combat. You're you're spamming your button to attack kind of thing. So, anyways, just the game starts off on a a uh, a Viking ship. Yeah. Eric and Mia are living on this Viking ship. They sneak out of the ship to go hunt for treasure. You know, they go to this mysterious island. They go into these ruins. Uh, I'm curious about this, Dummy, how this will expand. So at the point where I was playing, I could not switch between them. It did it for me automatically. But I had I got into these ruins. I had one of them stand on a, a switch and opened a door. And the other one went through and stood on the switch on another side. And so the other one went through it, too. So I'm kind of thinking, like, oh, maybe later on you'll be switching between them on the fly to do oh, okay. stuff, puzzles, yeah. maybe. That I have be, no idea, that but would be I, cool. that's just the kind of feeling I got. But then there, you, they come to this treasure room. There's these two daggers. They grab them, but then they get separated from each other by some mysterious circumstances. Then you start as Mia, who has her dagger. Then you quickly, I think if you've played the Joker games, I've not played the Joker games, so I, can, I could be wrong. But a lot of this game is you have party members that are monsters. Yeah. So right away you get a pink slime. I think they called it like a cutie slime or something like that. It was like a pink slime. Who's Uzella or something? Uzella, or I think. Something, yeah, yeah, they're all like you know cute, funny names for monsters. Uh, but the, like we said earlier, the whole point or a lot big point of this game is getting treasure. So these monsters with you can detect kind of treasure yeah. and let you know if there's treasure nearby. But with your dagger, you're able to get like a picture of where treasure may be. So if you're in an area, your monster will kind of let you know there's a treasure nearby. They'll have a little chest above their head. Then you can use your ability to see like a picture of where treasure would be in this exact area. So you go to the area. Pretty generous too, letting you know if you're near the treasure. Like glows like super bright. So yeah. super chill. You know, they it's, just dig it up. Get yeah. some jolly treasure. Good stuff. But as we, were, I was going through the area, meeting a lot of the monsters, which is cool as a Dragon Quest fan, seeing these monsters in like different outfits. There's like a, I can't remember the names, but the cat enemies. You guys know who I'm talking about. The long tongues. One of them was like a pirate dressed up. Oh. Uh, he had like a studded belt on. The yeah. That I forget dude. their names, but you, if you've played Dragon Quest games, you'll recognize these guys. You're like, oh yeah, it's very charming. You're starting this pirate village. There's other pirates going in to go find treasure for them. <laughs> As you're going along, you uh, get into combat with some guys. So in combat, you have what I had is a dagger. You can just uh, do a little attack with. Your monsters, for now, I don't know if this changes, kind of just act on their own. They yeah. do their own thing. So the slime was just kind of rolling around doing damage or some fire spells, which is cool. But you also had a, uh, or had a slingshot you could use to shoot guys from afar earlier on in the game. Or the demo that I played, you shot like a, a cage down with one of the slingshots. Okay. Too. So I'm curious to how that'll expand. But in other words, you eventually go through like a little dungeon thing. There is a there was like a robot body. Some of the robot enemies from past Dragon Quest games. It looked like. Um, I assume later on you'll be able to ride on this one or use it to help you get something. There's a chest I could not get yet, so I was like, okay, I gotta get an ability later. But as you go on, we met with a couple other people, got another slime, and that uh, that cat pirate guy. They have, so monsters in this game have abilities they can help you with, but I only had one ability. They gave some examples of like ones that might be able to help you sneak around better, but the ones I had, or you could ride on them, the one I had though, particularly yeah. like would like bounce you up. So you so would you like could, jump on the slime yeah. and bounce up to get to a higher area. That was kind of cool. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was cool. Then we go just kind of up a cliff, then we went into a boss fight and it was with one of those robots fought him a little bit. The combat is super basic right now, extremely basic. 
I hope it gets a little more in depth as it goes on because there wasn't a lot I could do yet. I know it was the very beginning of the game though, so yeah. hopefully it'll expand. But you take out the bosses. It's cool just seeing your monsters fight alongside you. That's pretty neat. Yeah, you fight them, defeat them. Eventually, you meet up with your brother Eric again. Then you get introduced, I guess, to the dude, game's villains, dude. the main villains, these sweet like sky pirates. The silver bones. Silver Captain bones. Yeah, silver he had bones. like uh, two human, uh, a boy and a girl with him. Yeah. Then silver bones himself, some awesome skeleton dude, big baddie, talking down to us, talking like down to us, like yeah. we're terrible treasure hunters. So I guess the whole game is gonna be about you competing with them for treasure. Super jolly. Very, it reminded me of like a kid's movie, dude, like Goonies or something. Yeah. You meet like Goonies another ones. like uh, treasure hunter later um, towards the end of the demo. Yes. And they're like, oh, we're going to be rivals, but like, let me give you some more lowdown stuff yeah. about like uh, you activate this train. Yeah. And you see the like your daggers when they combine, like rev revealed. Rev yeah. They uh, they cleanse the mist. Um, and showed like uh, two dragon, two yeah. dragon heads that are like on separate islands. It's kind of. Again, kind of like Xenoblade, like these two like yeah, dead titans dragons, almost, titans, yeah. Yeah. yeah, very much like that. And you can take this uh, cool f uh, flying train yeah, thing, uh, cool. yeah, across to to go to the other lands, and uh, that's uh, kind of like where they leave you. Yeah, off. that's kind of where the demo ended. It's like right when you get to the main big areas, I guess. Kind of just yeah, they drop you over your next destination. And it's like get ready, like this, yeah, like adventure big time, fortress looking thing. I was like, oh okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I am into this. I love Dragon Quest. If you're maybe just like a, someone who just likes the, the numbered entries, might not be for you. If you're into that turn-based, you know, strategies, seem very basic right now, very simple. But I, it was very jolly. It gave me that nice Dragon Quest feeling I crave. I had a good time. I know you didn't get to like really fight anything. Yeah, it's funny. Right? I, they're like, "Oh, it's more. Keep playing." And then, like, it was just cutscene. Cut yeah, just the cutscene. Cut 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 I, 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 I was yeah. like, "Okay, cutscenes." But I mean, I saw you do the yeah. the boss fight. And stuff, uh, and... It looked all right visually. It looked okay. You know. Yeah. It was Switch only. I don't know. It looked fine. Switch docked. We got to play it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't know. Like, you know, we have to set, do it on our own setup. I mean, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, I, That's you know, just, I yeah. don't think it was like really pushing anything. But I mean, no. I think it's the the nature of the game. Yeah, yeah. It's meant to be simple. But it seemed cool to me. Like, I got excited. Yeah. It's to me by my no means isn't a, like an extremely hype game. But I was just like, oh, I like this. This is cool. Yeah. I want to play more of this game. So that comes out December 9th. So coming up quick, Square, once again, just firing off on all c cylinders with games everywhere. A million games for everybody. Yep. This is a Switch exclusive. Switch exclusive, yeah. yes. Yeah. Right now it is a Switch exclusive. You never know yeah, with for Square, now. though. For now. You never yeah. know with Square, so who knows what will happen in the future. In the future. Well, yeah, that's going to do it for Dragon Quest Tre yeah. Treasures. Check it out December 9th. We'll see you later. Now, where could that be? Uh, not too far. Yeah.